Okay, where was I before someone literally burst in the door and made a beeline for me, even though they had nothing to say to me? <clears throat> Most of our staff ha was requisitioned to help strengthen security. Yes. I feel certain that the crew at the harbor will be back in action pretty quickly. I want this city to be hooligan free during your royal visit. Yes, the warehouse district. That's the turf of rather unsavory group calling themselves the Ravens. I imagine you encountered some young men and their leader there. They've been fine until recently. Whoever is in charge needs to tighten the leash. The mayor's main concern, though, is that we cover the whole area. That's why we're so short staffed right now. <laughs> I guess so. That it is. All the lights shine shines off the All the light shines off of the streets. Although hmm our shadow is impossible. Um, for us to cast, catch a shadow like that, the building that we are standing in front of would have to not be there. We should be completely engulfed in the shadow of that of that building. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love the shadow engine in this game, but it, it really it makes it stand out that the geometry does not cast shadows. Oh, it's the drawbridge. So dusk, noon, and dawn, I guess, is when the bridge is raised. Sure enough. Oh, hey. A ferocious monster known as a Jabba has been spotted roving the Gulf Seaside Way. And I've already cleared it. Pretty good. Come to think of it, I don't have Eagle Eye <laughs> equipped it right now. Huh. Both of these actually seem super useful.
Okay, that would actually gain me more stuff. Uh, but I would lose time. Hmm. Clearly I need another character so that I can round out my support <laughs> stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully we'll be working with probably Carla because she has this face. Um. So hungry. I was quite the sailor in my younger days. I've sailed from one corner of the continent to another, in search of rare and exotic things. Long ago, I was fairly well known as Captain O'Neill. Well, sit right back and you'll hear a tale. A tale of my adventures. We've seen more and more tourists come to ruin over the last few years. Since there's basically nothing except tourist traps, the crowds get pretty huge when people have a day off. Oh wow, this place is crowded now. Wife and I managed to agree on what sights we wanted to see. As you can see all the sunlight reflecting off the water and in through the stained glass. It's unbelievably stunning. Let's just taunt us with it, why don't you? Someone as old as my dad would probably just get left behind. I don't think you can make it in school nowadays. Our neighbor, Jerome, also attends the academy. My son won't lose to him! We've got quite a few tourists here today. We see lots of folks coming in from a long ways. Being a guide is so much more stressful than a fisherman, too much worrying about what everyone else needs. I gotta go back to house sitting tomorrow. Hope I can make friends at Sunday school. <laughs> Racers certainly are impressive. Having that level of authority must be a heavy burden to bear. I'm sure one has to be trustworthy to be a bracer. But, but at the same time, I imagine that someone like that has to be pretty critical of oneself. I can actually afford to buy another thing, like a shield vest. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a shield vest. 
just for point of reference, though. I could buy one of these. I, I'll, I'll pass for now. We'll be back. A protective vest embedded with numerous small iron plates. Uh, the setting sun peers down upon me from its heavenly perch, warming all the cockles of my heart. It's uh, a bit too bright, though. Will it let me leave town? It will not. Okay. active around now in the evening. Naturally, that's when it's easiest to catch them. Let me think, where was the... was it at the hotel? the hotel. It might have been in here, though. No, it wasn't. It was at the hotel. Hello, welcome to Hotel Blanc. Do you have reservations with us? Impeccable timing, sir. We just had a cancellation for the room on the top floor. If it pleases you, I can show it to you now. Since it's empty to, due to a cancellation, I'd be happy to charge you the standard rate. Not to mention you appear to be bracers. I'd consider it an honor to serve you for all the hard work you do in protecting our citizens. I mean, for a hotel, it's more important that the room is full than that they charge the most for it possible. Where, where is the Royal Academy anyway? I seem to have completely missed it. <laughs> it's all right. I know the way. I don't though. Thanks for letting me come with you today. It's no big deal. And you two are going to be in room for a while, right? If you are, I was hoping you'd come to the campus festival at the end of the next week. Given the Royal Academy's reputation, I'm betting it's more than just balloons and party games. Yes. It's an independent, academy-sanctioned student celebration. It's a major tradition, really. <laughs> Maybe. They really pull out all, all the stops. Oh, Estelle. Well, if you'll both pardon me then, I'll see you again soon. Okay, so I need, for the record, I need wind and time. Ob 
obvious illusions aside, she certainly seems to be a genuinely nice and guiltless girl. Uh, what was that down there? Okay, it was just a little girl. Okay. <laughs> you know what? This is fine. We have something more important to do than go talk to some people in a seaside village. Oh, I could have. Where the hell were the fishing rods? Damn it! Spacious and well appointed. Hmm, yes, I like it. I'll take the room. Please wait a moment, Your Grace. I'm afraid that this room is not vacant. Perhaps you can stay at the mayor's estate as originally planned. Hush, Phillips! I can't even see the water from there! This hotel has a much better view, and I can smell the seaside air as well. Is this the royal? I was expecting the royal to have a... some sense? Maybe I was expecting too much. I mean, I don't really know contextually. Like, I haven't had any real context on how <laughs> royalty <clears throat> will act in this, in this game. In some stories, there would be a pretext of civility and competency, at least among some of them. I don't know if that's the case here. Uh, it is certainly not the case here, though. The pretext is immediate and clear. That's a horrible thing to assume about someone. Besides, who are you? You have no right to be in here. How dare you call me old man! <laughs> Very well. So you are the ones renting the suite. I'm going to be using it as a private room during my stay in Rouen. I suggest you leave. Say what? I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't see any reason we should have to leave. Bah! I shouldn't have to deal with you ignorant commoners. Do you not realize who I am? I think it is clear that we do not. All I see is an old man with a weird looking head. Let me say unique or something a little more positive. Oh, I get it. It's all in how we say it. Hm, fine. Clean out your ears and listen well. My name is Dukan von Os Osles. I am nephew to Queen Alicia II, granted the title of Duke by Her Majesty herself. I don't know, I get the impression that the Queen herself is fairly competent, or at least fairly, or at least well liked, but I guess that doesn't necessarily mean it, extend, it applies to her extended family. <laughs> I see from your astonishment that your astonishment has robbed you of the ability to speak. But that's to be expected. What more reason do you need to give up the room? <laughs> You're hilarious, old man. I'm dying here. You're supposed to be the queen's nephew? 
they both laughed at him. I love it! Maybe, maybe he was just telling a joke, you know, to ease the tension. Please pardon my interruption, but his grace speaks the truth. Perhaps I should have been quicker to speak. I am the Duke's personal butler, Philip. He has been under my care since the time of his birth. I assure you that all of this is true on my honor. Well, I'm sure you're quite confident. You would have to be. The man before you is indeed Duke Duke de Pan. Dunan, actually. Nephew of Her Majesty the Queen. What an asshole. <sighs> okay, so I think the rate. If the Ravens were on my list before for ne'er-do-wells to deal with, you have just gone... You've just hit the top of the list. You're the next in lo- The Queen doesn't have any children, and you're the oldest? Oh. For that matter, that would also mean that your parents are, are dead, since the queen's sister or brother would come before you in uh, most successions. I mean, I guess I don't know what the... Okay, I'm assuming that it is a primogenitor succession. Um, I think that's usually a pretty safe bet. But in primogenitor, that would mean that the queen has no chill offspring, or descendants really, and also no siblings. Living, that is. You may be royalty, but to me, you're just acting like an arrogant old man. Please, miss, you must wait. Please, hear me out for a moment. Pardon my impertinence, but I would ask you for a favor. Could I persuade you to relinquish the room? His grace is the type of man who will not be swayed once he has begun speaking. I fear this trait may even be due to negligence on my part. So please, please, you know, the reason he's spoiled is because people act like this around him. I'm, I'm just, I'm throwing out there. Of course he's going to expect people to bend over backwards for him, if they do, always. It's like a vicious cycle. He acts badly because people, because people reinforce that he can act badly. <laughs> I mean... I mean, there's no fishing rod, so... Hey! What are you whispering about? Oh, nothing important. Please pardon our intrusion. We will give the room over to you. I mean, nominally we paid for the room, so at the very least the butler should, you know, take over that payment. Also, I feel like they should be paying full price for the room, because there is no way this duke, this duke dork is gonna, is gonna go easy on the hotel staff. Now, if you'll excuse us.
Even if you'd explained your situation to the Duke, he probably still wouldn't have taken no for an answer. I'm really sorry that you had to deal with that. Well, I'm afraid we just booked our last room a short while ago. No need to fret. We are at fault here. I will see to it that arrangements are made for you elsewhere. Hey guys! I haven't seen you since the Sky Bandit! Hide out. Good evening. I wouldn't have expected to see you here. Look who's talking! I didn't think you two would show up in Iran either. Anyway, what's up? You got problems? Ha! You two get into the damnedest situations. I mean, I think you could, I think, I feel safe with the laughing because like worst case you can just stay at the Bracers Guild, right? Yeah, yeah, don't get your knickers in a twist. You can stay in my room. My room has some extra beds. Hey, clerk, or conquerors or whatever, you don't mind, do you? Not at all. In fact, you'd be helping me immensely. Sounds like a plan, then. The room's on the basement floor. Follow me. I feel like he's gonna try and get something out of this. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay accepting his help, but I feel like he's definitely going to... Yeah. 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 I mean, again, we're not that stuck. We could just sleep on the... in the Braces Guild. Um... Miss Morano certainly wasn't kidding about knowing the manager at a nice hotel. Ah, good, you're here. Grab one of the unused beds and make yourself at home. Sorry if I'm acting suspicious. I'm just grateful that you guys helped me nail a great story earlier. I just wanted to pay you back, is all. Hmm. Oh yeah, it was a big hit. Our readers love that article on Colonel Rick Chapard and the Intelligence Division. I got the feeling we sold more copies because of him than the Sky Bandit incident, to be honest. I guess so. I mean... I mean, look at him, Estelle. Look at him. He's a, He is suspicious AF. But, you know, just look at him. Rumor has it, he's about to get a big medal from Her Majesty. Ah, oh, that could have been our medal! It's getting to be just about all the people we'll talk about. I'm actually going to have an exclusive interview with him later. I'm a pretty big deal, you know. <laughs> well, he's got the looks and brains to his credit. He puts people at ease, you know? That's all. And it's nothing to worry about. That story netted me a tidy little bonus. Let's hear it from for finally getting rid of my bad luck charm. I mean, until you spend it all on uh your apprentice. <clears throat> Again. The Colonel's one heck of a guy. Uh, not Dorothy. Dorothy's the best. I was only looking after her while she learned the ropes. That big story met the end of our mighty team. I hope we run into her, because Dorothy is the best. I'm kind of trying to not think about that. I just want to enjoy a nice vacation with the bonus I got. Ah, Duke Dunan, our own walking catastrophe. From everything I've heard, he's a real hedonist. More so than most royalty, anyway. Not that there seems to be much royalty within... 
Okay, I'm really curious about as to the size of the royal family <laughs> of uh, liberal. Rumor has it that even drives her mad to skip the wall. Yeah. Well, given her majesty's age, it's not unreasonable. Plus, there's the fact that her son died some time ago. Okay, so... Hmm... A lot of people would be opposed to it, though. I wonder... I can't sneak anything past you kids, man! Yes, you're right, but that's all I'm saying. This one's just too big to give you any spoilers. Yeah, pretty much. We would definitely do that. I mean, no, we would definitely not do that. Uh... Kind of? Sometimes Neil is not a bad guy. Actually, no, he's really fun to dunk on, but I think he but he actually comes across as a pretty nice guy. After a meal consisting of some of the best seafood from Azalea Bay, the two brought the now unconscious Niall to the hotel and sent him to his bed to sleep it off. Mm -hmm. 